I'm so, so sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you. I'm honestly so clumsy sometimes. Uh, are you okay? Oh, good. <laughs> well, silver lining. I bumped into a nice person. Hmm. Uh, this girl has quite a reputation and I wasn't sure if I had to run and never show my face around here again. I'm Riley. It's nice to meet you. Oh, wow. You have a lovely name. <laughs> Is it really that obvious? Uh, I did my research before walking down these halls, but I suppose it doesn't matter how well a climate the one becomes. If you're new, you'll stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> uh, anyhow, I'd better get to class. Oh! You'll help me find my classes? Really? Well, <laughs> thank you. Yes, I'll definitely take you up on that offer. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you see the look on her face? It was priceless. Honestly, if you're going to share an archaic opinion to a class filled with optionated children, you have to be prepared for some backlash. I just don't think she expected the new boy to call her out on it. <laughs> oh, hey! Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. I can't take care of myself, but it seems like you're the one in need of saving. <laughs> oh, you can protect yourself just fine. Oh well, if that's the case, you wouldn't have that nervous expression on your face from me standing up to the teacher. Look. I promise, everything is going to be fine, all right? Anyway, I gotta go. I'll see you soon, yeah? Come with me. Who the fuck was that? Just a new student, huh? <laughs> Sweetheart, didn't I tell you before that you are not allowed to talk to anyone other than me? Uh-uh, zip it. I don't care what your reasoning is. I thought I made it perfectly clear that I don't want you to speak to anyone but me. You are not allowed to look at anyone but me. Your entire world should be revolved around me and me only. Did I not make this clear to you? Did I not make this clear to you? <laughs> Evidently, I did not. <laughs> I suppose that's on me. I know you're a little slow on things, so why do I think telling you something once or twice will cause you to burn it in your brain? Well, how about this? If you ever... Speak to that person, or anyone else for that matter, in the school again. I swear to you, you won't ever see them again. Do you understand? What? Say that again. You were so quick to talk back to me, so say that again. Say. It. Again. I'm insane? me this way? Who is the one who turned me into this lovesick monster who won't hesitate to hurt the people around them if they so much as breathe near you? 
This is all your fault, sweetheart. Your presence, your existence turned me into this! If you want to call anyone names, I suggest you look in the mirror. You are the one who caused all of this. You bit off more than you can chew when you decided to get into this fucked up relationship with me. And now, you're going to pay for it. <laughs> you didn't seem to mind my insanity when I was drowning you in an ocean of ecstasy. Or have you forgotten that already? Hmm. <laughs> Are all the memories of what we did that night finally coming back to you? Do I need to remind you again? As to why we do this, I'd be more than happy to. <laughs> How pathetic. You really are nothing but a brainless little toy for me to fuck around with, aren't you? Well, it does matter. Let your brain be filled with nothing. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to protect you. To think for you. But most importantly, to break you ruin you for anyone else. You're mine until I don't want you anymore. And trust me, I'm having way too much fun to let my little toy go anytime soon. Are you going to talk to that person again? Good. Are you going to talk to anyone in the school again? Good. See? I knew there was some cognitive ability left in that desecrated little brain of yours after I... <laughs> You're so cute when you pretend to be innocent. I'm off. Look at me. I meant what I said. Don't talk to anyone. Especially not that new student. Come out in five minutes so no one suspects anything. You're finally awake. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to be as weak as you are. But that's alright. All the more reason for me to keep you here. Oh, how cute. You recognize me. <laughs> yep, it's me, Riley. The... I'm not sure why you wouldn't recognize me. After all, you were so obsessed with me all day today. Anyhow, you are probably wondering what you're doing here. Well, my cute little captain, I kidnapped you. Ever since I first laid eyes on you, earlier today. I realized you are absolutely everything I want in a person. I was gonna take the traditional route and ask you out normally, but when I saw you interacting with that... that asshole, I realized that normal methods of courtship are not going to suffice with you. Now, will they? <laughs> Don't worry, little captain. I'll treat you real well. You see, the reason why I transferred to our skill is because my last romantic partner decided to push my buttons one too many times and... Well... <laughs> Don't worry, you pretty little head about that. Your soul is gonna go now. I want you to be mine and mine only. And clearly, you want me. Why else you will be so nice to me? You, you don't have feelings for me. You were just being nice. <laughs> No, no, you're lying. You love me. You love me as much as I love you. And you're going, you're going to stay here with me forever. You. 
I was wondering when you'd show up. Well, it's so nice to see you again, Bridget. Cut the bullshit, Riley, and give me back my toy. Your toy? <laughs> I think you mean my captive. I didn't see your name tattooed on them. Oh, trust me. That's going to change after tonight. Now hand them over and we won't have to escalate things. <laughs> Please, Bridget. No matter how many times we fight, I always come out on top. Why do you think this time is going to be any different? Because this time, I'm not playing around. I let you win every other time we fought over a toy. But this one is different. They're special. I already claimed them long before you showed your sorry face around here. Huh? You're really serious about this one, aren't you? Makes me all the more excited to have a taste of them. You've always had a nasty habit of talking too much. Maybe this will teach you to keep your hands off of other people's property. Are you okay? Did she do anything to you? Well, other than kidnap you, of course. Good. Otherwise, I would have had to tear her apart, limb from limb, until she dies from blood loss. Why do you care what happens to her? She kidnapped you, remember? No matter how bad you think you have it with me, your experience would have been way worse with her. You should be grateful I claimed you before others like me lay their eyes on you. You're under my protection, which usually means no one will touch you. We need to get you something that signifies that you're spoken for. Yes, it is necessary. No more arguing. Otherwise, I will take Riley's suggestion and carve my name into your skin. Not that I think you wouldn't enjoy that. <laughs> Don't give me that. You definitely would. Now, let's go before she gets up. Don't worry, she won't breathe a word of this to anyone. We have enough on each other to destroy one another. Plus, it's just bad manners, isn't it, Riley? <gasps> Uh, I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you try. You'd be lucky if paralysis is the only thing that happens to you after tonight. Come along, Toy. Let's leave the filthy little thief alone to think about what she's done. In the meantime, I'll take the liberty to make sure you know why. You belong to me, and me alone. <laughs>